lot of people come to me and say that, hey, you know what, um, why should I do a genetic test? Is it really important? And there are, there are a lot of studies out there saying that you shouldn't do a genetic test because it's an overall development. The whole philosophy over here of doing the genetic test is to know from a perspective on how should I balance my nutrition based on the way my body is absorbing it. So in a nutshell, what is a gene? There are 23,000 genes. A gene is like the software in your body. It codes for different absorptions or assimilations or production. So let's say when I take a vitamin C based gene. Now if your gene absorbs well, it will improve or take vitamin C at the highest level. However, if the gene is not working very well, then vitamin C would be lesser absorbed and me or my team uh, as the nutritionist has to work on enhancing the vitamin C that would come from the diet or supplementation. Now this gives us a strategic direction. If you knew that your child had a vitamin C deficient receptor or enhanced receptor, the nutrition plan is very, very proactive. It's not reactive. So in the olden days, we as nutritionists worked on a reactive philosophy, which was we counseled you, we gave you a nutrition plan, you went out, you ate, you practiced, you played, you came back, you told us how you feel, you told us how your result was. In this, it's all forward planning. So the genetic plan will not only work with the nutrition genes, it will work with which types of exercise work for you, whether it's endurance, whether it's power, whether your aerobic capacity is low, whether it is high. We also look at the injury gene. We analyze nine genes in injury, all right? And we tell, do you have a high potential for injury or a low potential for injury? Now, imagine if I knew a kid had a moderate or high injury potential. I as a nutritionist would be working to enhancing the diet from a hydration perspective, from an omega-3 perspective, from an amino acid perspective. Now all of this when communicated to you, the family and the child will get to an Olympic level of sophistication. Now you want that from day one. You don't want that when you're a national champion. You want that when your child is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years of age. You don't want it when your child is 19, 20 years of age. So the perspective of the injury gene, or for that matter, the recovery gene. Like I love the recovery gene that is there in my report, okay? The recovery gene actually tells me whether the kid recovers quickly from that practice or from that match. This is a gold mine of an information. And as a nutritionist, when I have this information, the diet or the nutrition post the, the game or the training is so, so important in terms of how I balance the protein and the carb ratio. Not to mention if I need to add more amino acids or how quickly or how important it is for us to add that uh, amount of nutrition quickly to help in recovery. In addition to this, we look at gluten sensitivity. Now, gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley and rye. One of the world's famous tennis players, the world number one Djokovic, has a gluten allergy. He discovered it via DNA testing. We have brought this to you in India. Imagine if you know that you can't eat gluten, then you are not recovering well enough. Your gut is compromised in terms of having inflamed uh, reactions. You don't see this, you don't see it in a blood test but you want your body to work at optimum efficiency. If you do work at optimum efficiency, I think that's where the gluten discovery really works well.